And turning to another huge story tonight, the fight over abortion rights. Decision holds is really quite a radical decision. President Biden and abortion rights activists worried after an unprecedented leak of a Supreme Court draft opinion. The draft written by Samuel Alito has been confirmed as authentic and shows five conservative justices are ready to overturn Roe v. Wade. But this isn't the final ruling. The leak itself is now under investigation with leading Senate, Senate Democrats already planning a vote on a bill to codify the right to an abortion into law. Court should tune out the bad faith noise and feel completely free to do their jobs. They should follow the facts and the law wherever that leads. The Republicans have been working toward this day for decades. They have been out there plotting, carefully cultivating these Supreme Court justices. The leaked document goes after the right to privacy, a main point of the original Roe decision. And some legal experts worry that other decisions based on privacy could now be in jeopardy, including the right of same-sex or interracial couples to marry, the right to use contraception, and the right of religious parents to homeschool their children. This leaked opinion sparked protests from the steps of the Supreme Court to the state capitol and beyond. Abortion rights advocates here in the capital city also answered the call. And ABC 10's Van 2 has their message and how they feel about the response from California leaders. With a call to action from the Women's March, abortion rights supporters gathered here at the federal courthouse in Sacramento, rallying to expand abortion care in California, forging ahead and making it a safe haven for patients should abortion rights be prohibited in nearly half of U.S. states. Armed with pink signs standing with Planned Parenthood, abortion rights supporters marched through downtown Sacramento after rallying in front of the federal courthouse Tuesday. This is the first time I've ever lost a constitutional right and I don't like to lose. Any of you? Emotions running raw just a day after a leaked Supreme Court draft opinion indicated Roe v. Wade, which protects abortion rights, would be struck down as written. This is established precedent. 50 years, throwing out not only the right to abortion, but jeopardizing the right to birth control. Attorney Andrea Rosen said reading the opinion made her sick to her stomach, calling Justice Alito's arguments illogical. If you don't want people to get pregnant, you should be supporting birth control. So I don't understand the logic in that, other than this is just really an attempt to control women. She recounts working in one of California's first abortion clinics. And there were women from Minnesota who flew in by the plane load to California to get abortions back in the early 70s. This is definitely a gigantic step back if this gets adopted as law. Planned Parenthood advocates at the rally cheering on the governor and state lawmakers pushing to change California's constitution to explicitly state a woman has the right to an abortion. And we're expanding and people in California are going to get access to care, but people that need to come to California are going to get access to care. Women's Caucus Chair Christina Garcia says a bill is making its way through the legislature to help pay for access. It's a way for us to have a, a public-private partnership so we could be collecting private dollars to help fund the expenses of both traveling out of state but also paying for the medical care. Uh, legal expenses that might be accrued uh, in there as well. Republican Assembly member Kevin Kiley called the state's response to the opinion draft irresponsible. Uh, and is trying to sort of intervene uh, and even perhaps intimidate uh, the court uh, with, you know, very uh, explosive language. Another nationwide rally organized by the Women's March and Planned Parenthood is set for May 14th in Sacramento. It will be held at the state capitol. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court is set to hand down its final decision in June or July, but it remains to be seen how public uproar will impact the final formal decision. Chief Justice Roberts is calling for an investigation into the leak.